we have the legend Ken Schwartz with us from C60PurplePower.com. And we're going to talk about buckyballs. We're going to talk about C60 and some of the most incredible white papers and information has been presented. So what I'm wondering, and I'm sure many of you, I mean, is, is this actually legit? Is it as good as many people say that it is? Well, Ken is going to share some personal experiences and tell you a little bit about his background. And also, I mean, I just want to make it very clear. Uh, we want to have the best opportunities to get to the truth here at Leap Project. So when somebody asks me a question at the very beginning of the podcast, you know, says, Rex, find out what Ken says about buckyballs and what happens if they're in a dense form. Are they even bioactive? So, so we're going to get to that in a minute. I'm going to ask that question because we want to make sure that the best information is presented. And, and I just want to talk a little bit about a couple of articles that I found via on these buckyballs. And one is jpl.nasa.gov news, space buckyballs thrive, finds NASA Spitzer telescope. The implications are far reaching. Scientists have speculated in the past that buckyballs, which can act like cages for other molecules and atoms might have carried substances to earth that kick-started life. Evidence for this theory comes from the fact that buckyballs have been found in meteorites carrying extraterrestrial gases and not swamp gas from Uranus. The little carbon balls are important in technology research too. They have potential applications in superconducting materials, optical devices, medicines, water purification, armor, and more. And I've got the link in the video description box. Also, if you want to know about buckyballs, check out c60purplepower.com. Check out c60purplepower.com slash about. And there's a code LEAPPROJECT10 to get you an additional 10% off if you see any products that you want to purchase. Now, Ken, I mean, this is such a, a fascinating article that I pulled up today. And you've got a plethora of other articles and white papers and scientific research that shows the information, buckyballs, some of the benefits and features. But really, I want you to talk a little bit about who you are, just real quick. You know, we didn't go long into this and what got you into the buckyball research and how you actually do it. So uh, a three part question there. And thanks for being here, man. This is awesome. Yeah, a, yeah thank you. Glad to be on, Rex. Well, awesome. I was a research scientist and working on a fusion reactor, the metal oxygen fusion reactor project. I was running it and uh, everybody else that had done a lot of research, scientists had done similar research, they were all dead. So we figured something's going on here and we didn't want to end up like them. So I went out looking for something that would protect against radiation. And I found this stuff called buckyball, C60, carbon 60. And so what I did is I got, uh, I got some of that. And so when we were doing the project, the Moxie Fusion Reactor Project, we were all taking carbon 60 to protect ourselves against the radiation. And then, you know, it helped improve my health so much that I just kept taking it after, you know, after I was done. And uh, with that, you know, I took it on and off. I wasn't really, uh, you know, faithful to it. But uh, about six, seven months after, I went to my eye doctor and I had like dry macular degeneration. That's like the beginning of macular degeneration. And it had completely disappeared. Which was really a surprise to me and my eye doctor. And then my friend, Gary Rodriguez, he was our electrical engineer on uh, the project. He had developed type two diabetes diabetes and he had like really bad wet macular degeneration in fact we have a thing called the c60 show on youtube you can go there and if you go to eyes on c60 episode you can actually look at his before and after pictures he had really he had like they had the pictures of the back of his eye like lesions on it and and then it took it for about a year after and it completely healed up his lesions and being an engineer you know losing your vision that's it for you as your career so uh it brought back his you know mine was maybe just a off case who knows but when it did it twice then that's and we've had lots of reports of the same thing with other people and that's because it's a super antioxidant and you know the damage inside your eyes is because as you get older you your amount of antioxidants like a lot of things uh, slow down in production c60 replaces the missing antioxidants so oxidative radicals are neutralized they can't damage your eyes or other organs tissues in your body and then your regular chem cellular chemistry runs and you heal yourself the body heals itself. Well, okay. So C60, we, uh, let, let me share a little bit more information. I want to bring up something specifically from this article, Space Buckyballs Thrive Finds NASA Spitzer Telescope. Um, astronomers have discovered bucket loads of buckyballs in space. 
They used NASA's Spitzer Space Telescope to find the little carbon spheres throughout our Milky Way galaxy. And the space between stars and around used NASA's Spitzer Space Telescope to find the little carbon spheres throughout our Milky Way galaxy. And the space between stars and around three dying stars. What's more is this telescope detected buckyballs around a fourth dying star in a nearby galaxy in staggering quantities. Now, what's amazing about this, what I personally think is amazing about this, and, and tell me what you think, is it's like a cage. So scientists, I mean, think about this, folks. Just think about this for a minute. Scientists are saying that these are cages that could like protect biological life somehow, allowing this life to travel through the universe. They're saying that these could be seeds to, to life. I mean, this is this is awesome, dude. Just think about that. That's wild. What are well, your thoughts? Oh, well, yeah, there is actually some some evidence on that. You know, this carbon 60 fits exactly into the groove of the RNA molecule and into the side groove of the DNA molecule. And on the early Earth, meteorite impacts on the Earth. Big meteorites hit the Earth. There's a lot of carbon on Earth, right? And in the meteorite impacts, a lot of C60 is formed. And then uh, it rains down on, that's how they found the KT boundary where the dinosaurs went extinct. There's actually a, a layer of C60 mixed into the KT boundary. But on the early Earth, there was lots of meteorite impacts smacking all the time. And so there's actually probably geologic uh, deposits of C60. Because C60 is hydrophobic. It hates water, so it tends to float on it. Or it rejects water, but it loves fat. So primitive fats and amino acids just stick to carbon 60. And, and so you could have like on the edge of some C, you might have like a, a geologic layer on the beach of uh, carbon 60 amino acids and uh, hydrogen gas and lipids. And, and that the fact that, uh, you know, C60 fits exactly into the groove of the RNA molecule, C might have been the actual scaffolding upon which RNA and DNA chemistry originated on the earth. Have you ever considered doing tests with, um, like you've seen the Dr. Moto stuff, right? Where he was doing water tests and experiments that were amazing. And I've, I've, I've read one article, not even an article, I take that back. I've read one person comment saying that a Moto's work was not real. One person out of the whole thing. So I couldn't find anything else except for this one person that left a comment. And he said he read it on the internets. So, um, well, so, so here, here's the deal. Show me the evidence. And I've seen evidence outside of Dr. Emoto's work that showed without a doubt, sit, like just thinking good thoughts changes water, the molecular level of water. And we're all connected at some shape, at some level. So when you start adding words and vibrational sounds, and then even saying, I love you to the water, and then you put that water in the freezer. I have another friend that, uh, he goes by the name Gizmo. And he's, he's, he's cool, man. He's such a cool dude. He's like, he's in his sixties. He acts like he's in his you know mid twenties yeah. and he looks like he's in his early forties. Super cool dude. And, um, he showed me evidence as well. Um, not even microscopic evidence that you could see just by putting this stuff in the freezer, the difference in the water, what it looked like just by doing these experiments. So have you thought about doing experiments as well with the C60, some type of a uh, somatics per se? Oh no, we've already done that. And uh, C60 is really good. We don't sell in printed or in, in printed stuff, but uh, you can get that. You, C60 really holds like uh, imprintations or I don't know how you want to call that, uh, that technology. So you can imprint or impose like vibrational frequencies on C60. It, it's really, it works really well. So that, that yeah, C60 does hold, uh, and it has like C60 is also the largest molecule that's ever done that uh, the double where particle wave duality experiment where they uh, where they can make it either is it a wave or a particle like the double slit experiment and they, that's the largest molecule that's ever been done and C60s has that same wave particle duality i think it is something like 100 100 million or 100 billion uh, uh, quantum states so on C60 60 molecules vibrating with each other and the different so it's just yeah it's an amazing molecule. It's just, uh, it's so many different things. So uh, I'm on your website, c60purplepower.com slash about. And there's, a, there was actually people that before we even got started about an hour ago, you know, I, I posted online that we're getting ready to do a podcast. And somebody said, Rex, I'm so glad you're doing this podcast. I'm literally, I was literally about to buy purple power 
uh, or not from, I was literally about to buy a C60 and then I saw that you were about to do this podcast. So I wanted to watch this first before I did. And I want to give you some more information about C60. This is directly from Ken's website. Not only can carbon 60 be found in nature, but it also precedes life on earth. that is produced in the atmosphere of giant red stars. Trace amounts can be found on earth at meteor impacts and near lightning strikes. Tiny amounts can even be found in the burnt wicks of candles at around 0.25%. While C60 is found in nature and has existed for a very long time, high purity C60 must be manufactured and refined. And you've also got it labeled here as possibly one of the most powerful antioxidants yet known based upon the, the chemical compounds. But so C60, like how do you even know it's there? I mean, isn't it so small that you that you have to have a just an incredible microscope to see it? Oh, not at all. You can actually tell like, like, like uh, mine is C60 purple power. And the reason it is, is because I was like the first one to offer it in avocado and coconut oil, MCT coconut oil. And when you take C60 and you dissolve it in a clear liquid like coconut oil, it turns it a purple color. So the actual color of C60 is purple. So that's why I named the company C60 Purple Power because C60's color is purple. Like there's a, another fullerene, which is C70. It's shaped like a little uh, rugby ball. C60 shaped like a soccer ball. C70 shaped like a, a rugby ball. It turns a uh, clear liquid uh, bright orange. So, so they have that. So C purple is the color of C60. So the shape itself is a you know it's a very powerful shape. It's been seen throughout history and the soccer ball, et cetera. Um, why does it form that way? I mean, wh what do you think the scientific reason of that is? Well, because it's, a, it's like a very stable, low energy state. And so, and also C60 is different. A lot of people talk, call it a particle, but it's not like a particle or a crystal surface. All the actions on C60, if you look at it, it's the shape like a soccer ball. In between, in between and the double on the pentagram, there's like five-sided and six-sided parts of it. And on the five-sided meets the six-sided, they actually have double carbon bonds. And, and all the chemistry is localized on the surface. Now, it's not like a crystal where they have like the electrons can wander around, but they're very, very localized on the C60. And that gives it its amazing antioxidant uh, potential. But, and the reason it's a, they say it's hundreds of times more powerful than any other antioxidant is because one thing, it's perfectly stable. And, you know, you talked about the gas molecules coming in. When C60 is in your body, you know, floating around, it actually likes to have a slight positive two charge. And it does that by pulling hydro positive hydrogen ions out of solution and stores them inside of its cage-like structure. It doesn't give up an electron to turn positive. And so when uh, C60 is floating around and oxidative radicals are negatively charged, so they go touch the C60, attracted to the C60 molecule. When they touch them, the C60 molecule will give up one of those positive hydrogen ions usually uh, neutralize the oxidative radical back to water and it resets itself. So C60 can reset itself hundreds or thousands of times a second. And that's one of its keys why it's so powerful antioxidant. You know, a lot of antioxidants like CoQ10 or glutathione are kind of destroyed or changed by an oxidative radical. And there has to be a whole chemical reaction the body has to do to reset them. With C60, it just resets itself again and again and again. And that's the secret to its power. We were talking a few weeks ago and you were discussing NASA uh, actually has been testing this C60 and they purchased up uh, an exuberant amount of it. Um, can we talk about that? Oh yeah, that C60 has so many different applications. They use it in like organic solar panels because it's an electron donor or acceptor or depending on you know what you dope it with. And, and there's all kinds of other things. They're only buying from producers which produce sublimated C60. Some producers use use like a uh, solvent system to produce C60. Others use sublimation, which is like evaporation. We use a lot of the uh, sublimated uh, material in, for our products. So there's no toxins or associated with, but even if they're, you know, any 99.99% pure C60 in a product is perfectly safe for you. It's whether it's sublimated or went through the solvent process, it's just, it's, it's way, 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 way below like EPA drinking standards, which are like liters per day. So it's, it's, it's anyone that tells you that C60 is toxic, 99.99 high purity C60 toxics. It just doesn't know what they're talking about or they're doing fear porn. Now, 
Well, that's one of the things I wanted to bring up also is there, there are people out there that are genuinely concerned. And there's this one person in particular that left a comment on the channel about uh, C60 and how stay away from it, man. Stay far away from it because it's nanotechnology that will be able to reconstruct itself inside of the body. And then, no, I'm not kidding, man. And this dude was- well, I know those people. A heart, uh, I mean, this guy was just like, boom, serious as a heart attack. And I'm just thinking to myself, and I wrote back, I said, so you're telling me, I, I actually, I responded back with, you know, very nicely, basically saying what he said with a question. So I'm like, so what you're telling me is that the C60 is a nanotechnology that's going to reconstruct itself um, to take over the uh, system of the, the user or of the person that's ingesting it, and it's going to connect them to the Borg. It's going to connect them to the high of mind. And this person absolutely thinks so. And there's oh, yeah. others that, that have left that same comment. So they're getting the information from the same place, and it's on the Internet, man. It's real. So let's talk about it. Oh, yeah, that's just, that's just craziness. Like, T60 exists... It, like the, it created in the atmospheres of red stars. It existed billions of years ago before the Earth ever formed. You know, it's a part of nature. It's been around. And, and you have to make it a lab in this high-energy situation, a lab, basically two electrodes and the high-energy electrode and the light helium atmosphere. And no, C60 is almost indestructible, and they can't create itself in your body. That's just ridiculous. And, uh, and, it, and it doesn't act as an antenna. It's spherical. And, it, and it just, it's just, uh, this is, it's fear porn. You know, it's like, you know, Monsters hiding under your bed. It's just, it's just ridiculous. And they, they don't have any evidence for it. And of course, but you know, you people don't need evidence if, if they're crazy. I, and you know, sometimes not even if they're crazy, but they're, they're repeaters. They're not mm -hmm. researchers. They repeat everything. And I, I've got to say, there was a point in my life where I didn't repeat everything, but I did, let's just say far less research. And the research I did it wasn't like as much as I could find. It was like, oh, will this research fit with what I'm researching? You know what I'm saying? It's like, yeah. you're looking for stuff that's gonna match up with what you already think you know. So how is that? I mean, it's like, well, it's because you don't want anything to, to cross rep to, to say that that isn't true. It's like, a, it's like a pattern shift. And, and actually I learned a lot from that, Ken. I learned so much from that. Yeah. And, and I think that's one of the things that, that helped me get to this level now is, and I think a lot of people will go through that stage where if you read a, a headline, it's a, you know, it's so far out. You're like, whoa, man, that's it. That's it. And then you start talking about it and then you're like, whoa, 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 that's not it. That's anyway. So, yeah. so it's got like this cage structure, the C60. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's almost like a, like a, it's like a soccer ball cage structure. So exactly I, I've seen soccer. elements. Yeah. I've seen elements that are actually inside of it. That it's like, it's like a protector, almost like armor. And then reading that article from NASA saying how they, they could use it for armor. It's almost like an armor for the body on thing or like for the cells oh, or something. I don't know. Yeah. What you can do, you can take a C60, let's say in a vacuum, you could fire a C60 molecule against a steel wall at 11,000 miles an hour and it'll hit the steel wall. It deforms and then it just bounces back undamaged. So it's, it's incredibly strong molecule. So it can't break down in your body. It doesn't produce toxins. You know, the whole thing about how C60 had biological properties was completely discovered by accident, just like the macular degeneration for me. They, you know, this was a new molecule they discovered from outer space, right? They didn't know what it would do. So they decided to uh, do toxicity studies. And so they started giving rats like huge amounts of it. And, uh, and it doubled their lifespan. And, and they gave rats like a million times what you might normally take with, you know, any C60 product. And, and, uh, and it had no toxic effects, even at a million times what a normal person would be taking. So it has zero toxicity. That's interesting. And when you say that, it's, it's like, really? You almost, I mean, it's, you have to do a double take when you say that. But the, the studies, um, you're actually going to leave... You're going to send me the links to these studies yes. where they did on, and, and I think that, that I cannot wait to, to look at that in detail. Um, we've talked about it before, and then, you know, I, I was doing a little bit of research today, and, and it, just one, uh, one search, I did one search, and that NASA article popped up, and that wasn't even, I, I didn't have to do, uh, you know, much detail at all to find that. It was just right there. It popped right up. So there, there's some great data that you can find without having to do a, a heavy search, folks. I just, you know, Make that clear, but we're going to make it even easier for you. 
because it isn't there's is very little known about it and and also can you you've done stuff in the past and i want to get into the radiation things here in a minute folks we're going to talk about the the radiation increase um i've been testing the radiation levels since 2013 extensively and I noticed over a period of when I was in San Antonio area that they seem to slowly increase over a period of a few years um, from an average of about 0 0.07 microsieverts per hour up to approximately 0.1. And that's relatively low. I mean, that's, that's nothing to be concerned about, but I did notice that it slowly increased. But there's different types of radiation. And if you've got a Geiger counter, that's great. But you know what I've noticed that's even more spooky is get yourself a good EMF detector that will detect the microwave radiation that you're, I mean, not even the lower stuff, you know I mean? Because there's lower frequencies that you're bombarded with all the time as well, but you can get specific acoustometers that'll show you the actual, that'll, that'll give you the sounds. It'll take a, an EMF wave, a microwave wave, and it'll convert it into a sound. So it'll go chirp, 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 chirp. And the levels are insane. I'm in California and I'm getting 5G. I'm in traffic for 45 minutes to go two miles to pick up my bro, Greg Allison at the airport. It took me two hours to get to him, just a few miles. I'm sitting there. There's like this 5G antenna and I'm just like, oh man, I got to bust out the acoustic meter. So, and people are just like, yeah, man, this is great. I got one right on top of my house, dude, right on top of my apartment complex. My parents are... You know, my grandparents are in an assisted living facility and they've got them all over there. So they get wonderful internet, you know, my, my, and then my kids are at daycare and they got the, the towers right there at the daycare center. And you know, my other kids are in middle school. They got them at the middle school. So it's because they love us, man. What are you talking about? You should be glad you got that EMF radiation. You should love it. Love it. Oh, well, it's, it's insanity. You know, they've done over, they have over 20, 20,000 studies that are showing the negative effects of like microwave radiation, level radiation, 4G, 5G, all of that stuff. And it's, uh, there's no doubt it's, it's really bad for the human body. And, uh, but that really doesn't seem to stop them. They do it anyway. And, you know, people right now we're living in, you know, our ancestors didn't have this. We're living in an environment with millions of times higher level of electromagnetic radiation than our ancestors did. And, you know, and they, and that's not good. That causes a lot of health problems. You, we were going to talk about that. Like we were going to get into to some of the the benefits of C60, and you were going to kind of talk about some of the science behind that. Um, I'm going to give you give you okay. the the floor, bro. Okay. Well, one of the things is like, like when they did the animal studies, they usually use these whisker rats or these wimpy mice, and these are these are wimpy rats and mice, right? They they just like you can breathe on them, and they back practically keel over, and they're especially susceptible to cancers. And other things. Because, so, you know, if you're going to test for toxicity, you don't want to get like a street rat, which nothing could kill. You want to get a wimpy rat. So that's when they, they got these wimpy rats. They gave them a C60. And normally these rats die, let's say, when in their 30s or 40s, in a human equivalent terms. But when they gave them the C60, they didn't get any cancers at all. They live, you know, and they didn't get any other cognitive declines and other problems associated with aging. That just didn't happen. And they lived to like a really, really ripe old rat age or mouse age. And then they died. And, and that's one of the reasons they doubled their lifespan. It really didn't double a rat's lifespan. It just, it just took them to the, you know, the genetic limits of what mice or rats could be. And then they kind of went off the cliff. And, and that's the key was the 60. Now, when you're, and the way it is, is they, they prevented cancers. And what happens was when, you know, cancers uh, happen when there's genetic damage, okay, in the, in the cellular DNA. And usually it's like the P53 gene is turned off or whatever. But when a cell has genetic damage, it's uh, a lot of times it will revert to like a more primitive state like it was because we were like, you know, cells came from amoebas and it goes from aerobic to an anaerobic state. It's fermentation. -free. Well, the problem is, is there's mitochondria, which are like little symbiotic energy sources that live in the cell. They're their own. They have their own DNA and they, they're symbiotic with the bigger cell. And so they can actually cause apoptosis, which is program cell death. So what the bigger cell does when it goes cancerous or gets senescent, it actually stops providing antioxidants like super oxide disputase and catalase to the mitochondria. And they need that to run the ATP cycle, which is the main energy for a cell. And also the cell turns it turns the environment to acidic rather than basic in the cell. And that prevents the mitochondria from functioning. So they can't, they have to go back to fermentation processing themselves. And that allows like the cancer cell to, to you know, to keep living. 
and stuff. And what happens is when you take C60, C60 gets into those cells and then, then it, the mitochondria actively uptake it. And that is totally replaces the missing SOD or the catalase. And so the mitochondria can switch back on and start making ATP and burning oxygen as a fuel source. Well, what happens also when the mitochondria turn on like that, they can burn the fuel source and they also make messenger molecules because they're living in symbiotic with the bigger cellular nucleus and they send little messaging molecules to the main nucleus. And if they don't get back the right messages after a while, they initiate apoptosis, which is programmed cell death. So the cell just basically breaks up into little pieces, apoptotic bodies and phagocytes, which are like cleanup cells come in and clean up the mess. And so that's one of the reasons why they, the rats didn't get cancer is because if there's a cancerous cell, you know, the, the mitochondria couldn't, it couldn't be shut off. They would make communication with the main del cellular DNA and they would know, oh, the main cell's DNA is damaged and then they would just terminate the cell. And, uh, and, and then the, when the, once that's gone, then, then they're like messages go out. So the, the senescent cells or the, or the defective cells are wiped out. And then the remaining cells function more efficiently, but there's not enough cells to get things done. So they send messages to the stem cells and the stem cells do a massive increase. And then they take some of those stem cells, convert into new cells. And that's like first one, one of our, one of people, person we know, when he was uh, 55, he did a telomere test before he took C60. And he had the, the telomeres of a 54 year old. That's not, you know, hard to, you know, that's pretty normal. After take three years of taking C60, he went in to get another telomere test just because he wanted to. And he had the tel telomere length of a 38 year old. He had literally gone back almost two decades on telomere length. And telomere length is a biological measure of age. Telomeres are like little DNA repeating units that wrap around the end of the chromosomes to keep them from falling apart. And the reason basically we figured it out eventually is basically all the senescent cells, which have really shortened telomeres uh, that, you know, they can't reproduce, they can't function. They got all wiped out by the C60 and they're replaced with new stem cells, which almost have a full set of telomeres. So literally you, you actually get younger by using C60 for a long time. Wow, man, that's fascinating. Thank you for explaining that. And we've got a bunch of questions from the audience. So well, let's, let's take Let's take a few of these questions real quick. And the first one is the question we were going to ask at the beginning from somebody that says, Rex, I love your show. I appreciate your opinion. I am skeptical about um, this specific product um, because he thinks that um, there's only one product out there uh, that, that works, uh, that's C60. Uh, or I don't even know if I'm saying that the right way, but he, he is under the impression that there's very few companies that do that. I mean, first of all, there's very few companies that offer C60 and those that do, yeah. you gotta be very careful with, in my opinion. Um, yeah. you, you really gotta be careful. So with that being said, he asked the question, you know, um, so the question is, in the dense form, are they bioactive? And the answer is no. Because when what you do is we get make C60. When you make C60, it comes in these little crystals, right? The whole process, whether it's sublimation or the or you use a solvent system, you end up with these little tiny crystals. And and crystals of C60 aren't any good for you. So people sell you C60 powder to eat. It's not going to do anything. What you have to do is you have to take those crystals and you have to dissolve them the same way you dissolve sugar in water. Well, C60 doesn't dissolve in water. It's hydrophobic. It dissolves in an oil. And so you have to sit there and put the crystals in the oil, you spin it up, and then uh, and you know the crystals have dissolved because the oil changes color. For instance, like MCT coconut oil will turn a brilliant purple. And so you know, hey, that's good. The, the MCT coconut oil, which is usually clear color, is now purple. Or like the tan of an avocado oil or an olive oil will turn a, a brilliant amber. And so you can actually just look at the product you have and know whether it's good or not by you know, by looking at the color. So it's really easy to tell. You don't need some super uh, system. We, we actually third party test our stuff after it's done, but, but just we're using your eyes. If you know the color purple color of C60, you know, oh yeah, that product has C60 in it. That one doesn't. And so, and you gotta be careful. There's people out there selling, like if it's black or, or just like mud brown, that's probably not a C, real C60 product. Or so I'm not gonna mention names or some guy out there that sells like, basically powdered charcoal in oil and calls it 60. <clears throat> Sorry, that's not C60. 
So, uh, so you got to know what you're doing. But most of the big producers out there are honest. Okay, most of the big producers they do a good job. Even my competitors, they, you know, they, they, we have certificates announced before. We have, you know, we produce our stuff in an FDA certified, uh, Costco certified uh, food production laboratory. So that it's, it's, and then we do after testing with third parties to make sure everything's got purity and safety and all that. So, but, but if you're looking at a big producer that's been around for a while, they're probably legitimate, but a lot of the smaller producers or if somebody's selling you, C60 costs more by weight than gold. So if somebody's selling you some bargain basement, oh, this is this very, you know, if you look at that C60, costs, you know, a lot of money, a good C60 product, because it's C60 costs more by weight than gold. Somebody's offering you some price that's too good to be true. Well, it probably is. There's either no C60 in it, and there's a lot of those, and there, or there's insufficient amounts to be effective. So you just have to be careful. Buyer beware, you know, you get what you pay for. Thank you for explaining that. Much appreciated. Stay away from the uh, the butt brown color, folks. That might not be your best option. Just saying. Just saying. But that's my opinion. That's my opinion now. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, Bad Cat says, how much C60 does Ken take? Oh, uh, I take about a half an ounce to an ounce a day. But, uh, I, I, you know, I make it. So, I probably overdo it uh, more than I need. But in scientific studies, they discovered that uh, 0 0.1 milligrams per kilogram is effective. And if we want to put that in terms people can understand, that's basically one tablespoon of a C60 product, like an avocado oil or, a, or olive oil, is enough for like a 330-pound person. So like if you're 150 pounds, then half a tablespoon would work for you. C MCT... Coconut oil has a, like a little bit less, about two thirds to half the C60 because it's shorter chain triglycerides. But uh, MCT is uh, coconut oil. Those are medium chain triglycerides. They're, those are broken down by your body, your liver quickly into ketones. And then your body can use them as an alternative energy source. So if you've got like di diabetes or some other glucose processing problem, when you take MCT coconut oil, uh, it's, it's like flex fuel for your body. So you won't have a glucose crash. So that's why we offered an MCT coconut oil for those people. Great. Somebody said, Rex, I think you're losing it. Well, buddy, let me tell you, I just found it. It's amazing. Hello. All right. So the next question, <laughs> you got to come into the chat, man. The chat is half the fun. If you, if you've never been, if you're watching this podcast after the fact, and you, you need to look through the, the comments at the same time. And actually it's pretty cool because because talk about reviews, there's about 500 people in here right now. And they, you know, the, the people that are leaving comments, the comment section's going extremely fast. There's a live comment section here, folks. It's, it's called the live chat. You should definitely check it out if you haven't looked at it before. And in the live chat, people are saying the, you know, what C60 has done for them. There's a bunch of people in here that are leaving comments. And every comment that I have read, somebody that's bought it and used it has been wonderful. And if you think I'm exaggerating, please watch the live chat and look at these comments that are pulling through here. This is awesome, man. I mean, I'm reading everything from somebody that says they're on a fixed income, so they're, they're doing their best to be able to afford it, and they're, they love it. It's amazing to people that say that they're in their 60s and they feel like they're in their mid-30s approximately, and they've been taking it for a few years. So this is really cool, man. And, you know, everybody's different. Everybody's different. And I also have a, a strong belief in the placebo versus the nocebo. So if you go into something, whatever it is, thinking, oh, man, this isn't going to work. This is terrible. Oh, this sucks. Da, 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 da. Then your, your mind over matter is projecting that. So have a good thought as well, especially something like, like, like a product that connects um, at such a micro level. You're energetically charging that just like your water. So take it to the next level, man. Use your mind as somatics. I mean, it's, it's amazing to me. It's amazing. Uh, well, you know, that's how I got in. It's just totally unexpected for me. And the ways that I started doing it, ever, there was the first off I bought a bunch of C60 from different people. And yeah, one of the persons I bought it for didn't have any C60 in their product. But, you know, since I had different sets of C60, I covered my ass. And, 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 and you know, at that point, I just said, you know, after it fixed my eyes, I said, I got to learn how to do this myself. So I learned how to make... C60 preparations. And I was also started, everybody had olive oil, extra virgin olive oil. If I take olive oil, you know, a little bit of it, too much of it, 
and I'm going to go ahead into the bathroom. And, you know, so I thought I need to take a certain amount of C60. So I put it in avocado oil, MCT oil. And I was just using it for my family, friends, and myself. And then my alternative healthcare professionals started using it. And then their customers started using it. And then it just kind of, uh, it just went from there. And next thing you know, there was this company. It kind of was unexpected. It didn't really start out that way. But, uh, you know, C60 has just done so many things for so many people. And it is really nice to be able to, you know, to have a product that, just people have these miraculous recoveries and that just happen. So like you're seeing it in the comments, it's just amazing what C60 does for people and, and for so many things. And I want to say something, C60 doesn't heal. What C60 does is it lifts the oxidative burden, the toxins that we're bombarded with in our modern society. And once those are lifted, your cells can operate the way they're supposed to be and healing can occur. And it's your body, it's your own cells healing yourself it's just that now they have a chance to do that because all the toxins and oxidative burden has been taken away from by C60. I like the way you, you brought that up. So C60 isn't doing the healing. You're healing yourself. C60 is helping you with an environment so that it will be conductive for that. And that's wonderful. That's that's amazing, man. I love it. And I love this stuff. And actually, I don't know if you've noticed or not, but I feel like I'm even a little bit more hyper than usual after just taking that little, that little, uh, um, yep, it, 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 we do recommend taking it in the morning because it does have a little bit of stimulatory effect, but, uh, that, that's personal thing. I have friends who can drink coffee after <laughs> even the evening time. I don't know how they do that, but and sleep fine. So, you know, it's a personal thing, but you know, if you're kind of sensitive to coffee and other stimulants, you might want to, uh, drink it. So you might want to take it in the morning. Oh man. I feel stimulated right now. Hello. All right. Next question. The next question is the next question is, and this is from Angela. She left a super chat. Thank you for the super chat. Uh, she says, Rex is, um, could you ask Ken, is it safe for all ages? Well, first off it's a C60 is an adult choice. It's not an F approved substance and all that. And so we say, you know, if you're an adult, you can make your own adult decisions. Uh, it's, we don't know anything about C60 in pregnancy. So we don't obviously don't recommend, uh, somebody who's pregnant to take C60. Uh, now there are lots of adults that, uh, that, you know, have children and they've given their kids C60 and, uh, turned them into super kids. We had one person that uh, works with us. her, uh, son was taking C60. He was in junior high and he did the, he went and did the planking competition in the school and he, he. and you take C60, you will have like incredibly shortened recovery times. You'll be able to run faster, swim farther, uh, lift more weights, do more reps. You're just going to kick your competitor's ass if you're on C60. And I can't say who this is. Also, it works for horses too. I won't say where and what country it is. It's not this one. So, but they've been given some horses C60 and, you know, the mid-pack horses are now uh, winning races. So, I mean, if you're in athletic competition, you want C60. And I've actually contacted like all the professional doping associations and blah, 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 multiple times. And they have never come back with a ruling on C60 because it's not a drug. It's not a mineral. It's not a nutrient. It's not a supplement. It's an allotrope of carbon like diamond or graphene or graphite. So it doesn't really fit in any of those boxes. It's a natural substance produced by nature. You know, it's an inorganic natural substance. Well, actually, it's an organic substance produced by nature, but uh, yeah, so it's, uh, but it just does amazing things. I can just tell you, like my energy levels now are just so much better than when I was, you know, 10 years ago. Man, he, the, Mr. Buck in the chat, he's a regular, he said, he just said in the comment section, I used to drink Red Bull and Cherry Kool-Aid before bed. Oh man, that's pretty rough, bro. I hope you've calmed down on the Kool-Aid. Um, the next question... <laughs> Uh, actually, this is a comment. No, that's a question. Okay, so uh, the question is from Mike. Mike says, does C60 boost testosterone? It does a huge boosting of testosterone. And let me show you, tell you how that happens. When the minor C60 gets in there and, you know, 50 to 60% of your antioxidants or oxidative radicals are produced by the mitochondria. C60 gets in there and takes care of all those oxidative radicals. And so that the your mitochondria can operate at maximum efficiency. Now, mitochondria make ATP, the energy molecule of the cell, so that gets the cell all the energy it needs to operate. 
But mitochondria also make pregnenolone. And pregnenolone is the precursor molecule for all the hormones. So, so when you take C60, this pregnenolone is produced just in quantities like when you were much younger. And then, and like for instance, in the adrenal glands, you get the pregnenolone is turned into androgens and then the androgens go in your bloodstream and then they go to your testes, your balls, and it's turned into testosterone. Like we had this seven year old guy, this is, we, this is typical. We've had lots and lots of cases. He had like testosterone of 345. Uh, he went to his doctor, that's what he tested. The doctor gave him creams and stuff, you know, to rub on his sack to increase his testosterone level. He got up to like 745 with all that stuff, right? After taking C60 for like a month and a half, he went in and got his testosterone levels tested again. There were 1,200. The doctor took him off most of the medications because uh, because when you when you restore the preg pregnenolone, levels and it gets converted not just into testosterone but uh it gets into neuro neurosteroids that's one of the reasons why the brain gets so focused you get so much energy mental energy clarity focus motivation and also cortisol adrenaline you know that adrenaline fatigue that people have it just goes away because now your body has all the pregnenolone to do that and there's another benefit of pregnenolone pregnenolone is synthesized from cholesterol, low density, the uh, low density lipid cholesterol, the LDL cholesterol, the bad stuff. That's why your body makes LDL cholesterol. So it can be converted mostly into pregnenolone. As you get older, your mitochondria don't work as efficiently. So instead of converting it to pregnenolone, it just builds up in your body. So when you start taking C60, not only does your pregnenolone and your hormone levels back up, the, the, the LDL cholesterol level drops as well. It's like two great things in one. Yeah, and, and just to let you know, some of the customers may report like huge increases in libido. So watch out when you take C60, <laughs> and it works for men and women, there'll be a huge increase in libido. So get ready for that side effect. Schwing! <laughs> for sure. Ladies and gentlemen, um, it's there's one person in that we do have. This is good, too. I'm glad to see this. Um, somebody in the comment section said, um, let me let me pull this up, and I'm not going to say your name, and I appreciate you, you saying this. I really do. Um, this person says, these are not good for us. Sorry, fam. Bucky balls are bad news. My question is, why? And I asked her that, and I'm waiting for a response. Yeah. So well, while like she's going to... Yeah, I'll I just was, say they've done dozens and dozens of studies, scientific double-blind studies, you know, the whole way, and they've had nothing but positive results from liposomal-delivered C60. So, you know, and they've done testing toxicity tests a million times, what you can take, right? And the, the rats would just live long, healthy lives. No toxicity at all at any levels. It's just, yeah, which is unusual for any substance. And another reason it does that is C60 is a selective antioxidant. So that means it takes out like the high energy oxidative radicals like super oxygen, hydrogen peroxide, hydroxyl radical, other peroxides. And, but it doesn't mess, say, with other reactive oxidative species, which are lower energy ones, like the nitrogen oxygen, nitrogen, nitrogen oxide cycle. That's what causes blood dilation. Doesn't mess with that. It doesn't mess with uh, like the other ROS signaling molecules that are based on iron, sulfur, zinc. So all the signaling molecules in your body that are reactive oxidative species are not affected at all by C60 because it only reacts with high energy oxidative radicals, not with lower energy oxidative radicals. Yeah, thanks for answering that. And I was just going to say as well, um, you know, genuinely, if, if you feel that there's something wrong with it, please let, let, let's see the data on that. I, I would love to. Ken is presenting information that has been um, put together in laboratories that he's talking about with these mice and these rats and these experiments and also the articles that I have shared with you. So I, I'm, I'm taking this from a, from a neutral standpoint. I'm actually taking the product. I love it. I think it's great. Um, I don't know if I've been taking it. How do I put this? Like, so, so I'm, I'm looking at this more of like preventative maintenance per se. Oh, like for me, you know, preventative exactly maintenance right. opportunities. So, um, you know, so, and, and there's a couple of people in the chat that are asking, like, are there, are there supplements that, that are good to go with it? That might be that you maybe take with, with C60 oh. or something that kind of jumps. Oh, yes. As well. Yes. Yeah, and let me say something, C60 does not replace good nutrition, supplementation, medicines that you've been prescribed. It doesn't replace those. It, it operates, it does its own thing 
in its own way. And you still need good nutrition to run. You know, if you don't have the right fuel, you know, the lubrication isn't going to help you out. And so like things that I personally take, and these are things everybody should take in modern American diet, we're just deficient in certain nutrients and because of the agricultural systems, like for instance, vitamin D with vitamin K, you know, 5,000 I use 10,000 I use a day, usually in the evening time, because it can make you sleepy. That's, that's just because we're just, you know, and that's why people get sick in the wintertime because they're inside the house. They don't get vitamin D. They don't get sunlight makes vitamin D in our skin. And so that's why people tend to be healthier in the summer than the winter because you're inside. So you should always be taking vitamin D and with vitamin K supplements because you need K to work with D. Another thing to take is like iodine. People just don't have enough iodine in their, bo their bodies, like subgoiter levels. And so you should really be taking an iodine supplement. Also, vitamin C, of course, is really good for you. You know, if you can't eat enough citrus fruit juices or citrus fruits, you know, vitamin C makes up for it. And also, I always have, I do personally take a good multivitamin and a multi-mineral thing, two separate things. And uh, just so I cover my bases, I mean, good nutrition. And I, I, I also recommend eating organic because uh, if you eat organic for just two weeks, it'll get rid of 90% of the pesticides and herbicides in your body. So, I mean, these are just basic health things that you should do that I recommend everybody do. I do it myself, the people I know do it. It's just, <laughs> living in the modern American society, you just got to protect yourself. Absolutely. And um, another, you know, this is another concerned uh, person in the chat that says, won't they react with microwaves and cause more damage? Nope. C60 is perfectly spherical. So it's the very opposite of a, uh, of an antenna. And it only acts, it only reacts with like you, with, with x-rays basically. But if you're getting x-rays, then you're already in trouble to, you know, if you get there, if you're getting many x-rays, then you're, yeah, you're having a problem. C60 does protect against it. radiation. They gave one where, you know, they gave one set of rats C60, the other set didn't, they hit them with a fatal dose of radiation. All the control rats immediately died. Nearly all the C60 rats lived and they never developed cancers or anything else. So yeah, C60 is great radiation protection. But, uh, no, it doesn't react with microwave frequencies or anything else. It's just, it's just because it's round, like antennas are long and skinny. C60 is round and spherical, electromagnetic waves go around it. And, and I just want to say for me personally, because somebody asked me um, what, what supplements I take with uh, C60. So I, I love the super tea from getthetea.com. I love that stuff. Um, amazing as well as the colostrum. Um, my, my stomach is so much better than it was several years ago. Um, and I, I don't know if it's perfect yet, but it certainly does feel amazing, a lot better than it used to. And, and I feel like that helped also. And, and when you put them all together, it's just like that, that combo pack, because there's certain things that the C60 does that the others don't, and there's certain things the Super T does that the colostrum doesn't and the C60 doesn't. So when you do those together with good thoughts and exercise, eating organic, making sure that you're not sleeping next to your router, you know, like how many of you literally have a router in your bedroom next to your bed or something like that? Just think about that for a minute. How many of you sleep with your phone next to your bed and it's not even on airplane mode? I mean, how many yeah. of you go to sleep yeah, with the TV the on? Oh, man, you know, yeah, turn it off. Like how many people go to sleep watching TV and these commercials are going right into your subconscious mind about, oh, do you have this or do you have that? Well, this might cause this, this might cause that, but you could take this and then it could get even worse and it might not even work, but you should go to your doctor and ask if you should take it. You know what I'm talking about, folks. It's because they oh, love yeah. you so much. Yeah, they love us. Guy friends were watching. Yeah. It's crazy. They had, uh, they had some friends watching a football game. They had like uh, three car ads, two food ads and like 20 something uh, drug ads on it. It's like, what? Hello. Well, okay. So next question. Next question is, uh, so, so the, the C60, does it have iodine properties? I know you said you should take an iodine supplement oftentimes could be good for you. Um, in your opinion, do you think that, but, but does C60 have iodine properties? No, C60 doesn't is a, no, it doesn't have iodine property. It's not a halide. And that's, that's an element on the, alkali side of things no it's not a halide it's a it but it will fix your if you if you have proper amounts of iodine we've had a lot of people that had uh hyper or hypothyroid either make it too much or too little they took c60 they don't need to take their thyroid medicines anymore c60 balance it out basically what c60 does is you know it gets rid of the oxidative burden as you get older you know we don't make as much antioxidants so those weren't working right c60 gets in there 
yeah, the cells work and fix it. Either it's too much or too little, or, you know, it goes back to the Goldilocks zone of health. Zoe says, I cuddle with my electronics every night so they know I love them. Oh, that's so sweet of you. Um, and then Endo says, I go to sleep with Leap Project playlist playing. That's what I'm talking about. Halo. Smart, smart. Um, if you do that, it's because you know that listening to Leak Project, you're in a much more rapid level of advancement as far as just information that might have some importance, maybe not, but probably does, that you're not going to find anywhere else. So um, with, a, with a bit of eclectic craziness from my perspective. So, Because if you're not crazy in this world, Ken, you're crazy, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you're well adjusted, there's something wrong with. <laughs> so that's just a figure of speech. But um, so you can actually, so if you go to c60purplepower.com, if you use the code leak10, you can get an extra 10% off uh, with your order. And I'm sure we've got some more questions here. Yeah, here's another question. Um, this question is How would C60 work with someone who had an organ transplant? Uh, uh, well, it, it probably would, it would not in, interfere with the drugs that you take to prevent rejection of the organ. So it's not going to interfere with that, but it will just, you know, if you had an organ trans replacement, it's probably because you have health problems and, uh, that caused that, you know, it doesn't happen by accident. So C60 probably help, you know, the underlying problems that caused it in the first place, just it's usually the oxidative burden or the toxins you've been exposed to and C60 can, you know, lifts that oxidative burden and the burden from the toxins. So things just operate better. So just that would make everything work a little bit better. And, and I'm sure you would recommend also that anybody that um, is, you know, that they're on certain drugs or whatever uh, with, you know, that their doctor has prescribed them to, to check with their doctor as well. Oh, absolutely. Yes. I would recommend And if you're on like thinners, that's another thing you might want to be careful if you're taking C60 because C60 restores like the mineral cortyloids and T3 and T4 in your thyroid. And that's really what's causing your blood to get too thick. Uh, and you have to take a blood thinner. C60 is going to repair the damage or the, the spotty will repair the damage. And so you might need, need that blood thinner anymore. So if you're taking blood thinners, you know, talk to your doctor, make sure he's testing you because it probably won't be too long before you don't need them anymore. You know, um, once again, looking through the comments, John K says, I've been taking C60 and really noticed the difference in a week, two weeks, even more. Awesome, John. That's good to hear. Um, then the next question is, this is from HW, is C60 good for women and men? Yes, it is. It's, it's, it does. Yeah, it works. Because what it does, it, it works at the cellular level, like the pregnenolone. It produces the pregnenolone is the precursor. Then the body takes it and makes whatever it wants, estrogen, testosterone, uh, various, uh, adrenaline, cortisol, whatever the body needs to make, it can make now. And that's one of the problems people have as you get older, your body's prodeglone production goes down. So they have a thing called prodeglone steel. And so if you're under a lot of stress, your adrenal glands will, or you will basically turn all the pregnenolone into let's say adrenaline or cortisol, right? because you're dealing with the stress factor and there isn't anything left over for the androgens, you know, to produce the sex hormones. So you don't have, you know, desire anymore. But once you get C60, there's plenty of pregnenolone for everything, uh, neurosteroids as well. So everything can get what it needs and it can run as best it can with your regular body chemistry. Right on. And I guess in closing, and maybe you can add something before we close, give us some, give us some amazingness. But somebody just said, Rex, what about free samples for loyal subscribers? LOL. Well, Susan, Susan, ask and ye shall receive. Ask and ye shall receive. I think we're going to do a giveaway. It's, I mean, not we, we, only a certain amount because because it is very expensive. As as Ken brought up, the the actual co the, the product itself, C sixty, that element costs more money in weight by weight costs more money by weight than gold. C sixty costs more money by weight than gold. Let that seek in. Okay, so however. We are going to do for Christmas a few bottles for Christmas. 
And I think we should hook Susan up with one, don't you? I think so. We'll have to, uh, yeah, we'll give some bottles giveaways that uh, you can give away every week, maybe here. Coming in the Christmas season, we'll set that up. That's what I see. I don't know how do you want to select which one it is, but we could. You can set up some way, and they could send it in, and somehow I don't know how have a random number generator that picks the right person, something like that. I don't know. I'm how friends that works, with Santa Claus, man. Like that. Yeah, yeah. I'm friends. <laughs> you, you've seen Greg Allison. He knows if you've been oh, yeah. naughty or nice. <laughs> yeah. So he does look like Santa Claus. <laughs> he is Santa Claus. Yeah. Um, he's. Uh, we were talking about Odin and the the All Father the other day, and I was like, wait a second. The old father. But you've got two eyes. Or do you? I don't know. Maybe one of his eyes is a glass eye. It could be. I wouldn't be surprised. I would not be surprised one bit, especially after he, he launched some like light anomaly, some elemental in the tunnel that was featured yeah, in multiple. Check that, out. that is weird. So, okay. Send me an email, Susan, leakproject at gmail.com to say, Susan, I'm the one. We're going to send you out a bottle and then we're going to do a couple more giveaways by the end of this month for Christmas. We're going to do a couple more giveaways. So we'll have Ken back on in, in a week or so. And, and next time uh, we get you on, Ken, I think that we should talk about a lot of the, let's get into the, some of the paranormal stuff, some of the, the ET stuff and, and some of the, cause Ken has connections and we're not talking fluff. We're talking like, Ray-Bans, you need Ray-Bans on afterwards because somebody might be like, Meh! and you might forget. So get a pair of Ray-Bans before we do this interview, folks, because you're going to need them. Sound good, Ken? Sounds good. Yes. See, I put him on the spot. He has to give away free stuff. <laughs> uh. so, so give us some good stuff. For, just, just share with us a few words of wisdom before we close out. And Ken, man, really appreciate it. Thanks for the opportunity. I know you're on the road right now. You got stuck in... You got stuck uh, at the airport, essentially. Well, not at the airport, yeah, but you have to wait. One of those wait, crazy so. things. Uh, well, we're getting back on running again. Yeah, so I just, I'm, yeah, I'm just glad to be here and uh, spread the C60 message. It's just done amazing things for me. I'm sure like, in 20 years from now, C60 is going to be in everything. It'll be everything and everywhere. And the average person doesn't even know C60. So if you're listening to this, you're hearing about C60, you're on the very cutting edge of like health and wellness in this world. Right on. Thank you, everybody, for being here with us. Check out c60purplepower.com. Use the code LEAK10. Get an additional 10% off. And remember, be the change you want to see. It's awesome. Just try it. It's really cool.